Hey everyone, in this video we'll walk through the Bob's Watches online store. It's a large luxury watches store and we'll learn what sections do they have, how they approach their um, online store structure, what is the pages they actually built, how their conversion rate optimization flows looks like and what's going on. So I already opened a main page and uh, as you can see there is a timer that um, shows a model window that allows us to subscribe for a newsletter and get $100 off the purchase. My name is Anton, I'm the founder of B2 Storefront and in this series we are going through different um, online stores and learning how they built their stores and what else interesting we can find. So let's close all the cookie bars and uh, this uh, model window with um, newsletter. What we can see on the main page is that we have um, email, call and text at the very top bar, which is pretty different from what you used to see on apparel stores or other stores that not necessarily uh, encourage you to call them and um, instead of that um, use uh, gorgeous or intercom for online chat but here um, we have a contact form and um, it could be probably because it's past the business time it's 5 p.m. here in California but um, it is um, solved like this we have some sort of a bubble here that says that uh, it's a sort of trust page, but it's very small. I can't actually see what's there. Um, main navigation uh, is contain main brands like Rolex, Omega, and uh, an additional menu item, sell Rolex. So um, in the luxury watches online stores, there's oftentimes also a trade-in forms and um, ability for their customers to sell the watch to them and they will list it or they will give them an allowance stuff like that so we'll see how it goes just a quick reminder I'm still on the parking lot and the shopping plaza recording this so that's why I can hear some cars and um, let's go uh, through the main navigation uh, we have uh, just down below luxury watches that contain uh, a list of other brands other than Rolex and Omega and um, if we collapse that uh, we can see vintage Rolex and uh, more which is uh, content pages like uh, some knowledge and uh, knowledge sharing uh, like Rolex serial numbers, Rolex prices, financing, Rolex models, how-to videos and so on and so forth. So it is pretty extensive uh, navigation and it is a lot of different pages on this uh, store. So let's take a look what sections we have on the main page. We have a hero section here and uh, it contains two main call to action bo um, buttons buy Rolex and sell Rolex so we can assume that it is something that happens um, very often as a main flow of user when they arrive to the main page below that we have a scroller of uh, different brands and uh, this scroller is actually not um, suggested scrollable so it's very easy to miss the point that there is actually more items in it so if I would not scroll I would think it's just Rolex Submariner and um, Omega and uh, right below we have an offering of different types of Rolex watches and um, just down below have popular models and um, a form to get an appraisal of your watch so in case you want to sell watch to to Bob's watches and uh, new arrival section actually shows specific watches with their price tag 
and we can see uh, six off-road watches here and below that it's uh, editorial articles what is interesting is that they actually accent on how often things are being updated uh, here you can see editorial daily articles and uh, on the new arrivals it says updated hourly so it gives a feeling of how dynamic everything is going on so that's um, interesting uh, language here and we have different types of um, content here like watch 101 buying guides watch review uh, resources um, which obviously makes real good for for the SEO and um, like on many luxury goods websites uh, you can see the promise of the quality like uh, authenticity quality and um, that the, the actual watch you see is in stock so uh, it's say it's real-time inventory here we have some content about about us uh, they're actually located here in Orange County in Newport Beach and um, it's quite uh, big and popular uh, they have 1 million uh, visitors according to similar web uh, so that's approximately obviously uh, and um, we have a newsletter uh, sign up form here and a very popular trick for SEO is having an FAQ section which bumps uh, because you actually do um, ask the questions the way people ask those questions okay and uh, here we arriving at the footer and in the footer we have uh, about us section service and support buying and selling and shipping and returns which is uh, a must-have for every store we have some social media links uh, down below um, their actual uh, physical address and uh, a hotline uh, that you can call as well as generally speaking um, payment badges so what's interesting is that uh, this store not using uh, Shopify it is using uh, another solution which we'll talk about later and for payment processing they use bolt.com so it's a separate uh, payment processing um, as a service so you have um, ability to connect it to uh, other websites and stores and um, you know it's good actually that we have an example of a store that is not on Shopify because uh, there is so much many platforms and they all good they all actually meaningful and have practical value and we just uh, hear a lot about Shopify which doesn't mean Shopify is bad or something but uh, there is a lot more options in the world of e-commerce platforms and each one offers its unique advantages all good so um, let's take a look on how the product details page looks like and uh, usually you arrive to the product details page by clicking into Google shopping feed uh, ads or by um, googling a specific timepiece so what's going on here is that we have um, a model window like a pop-up that says uh, get exclusive access and um, it's again probably invites us to sign up for a newsletter let's skip it and we have a slider with the photos of the watch and um, it's actually interesting that they um, also use that language like actual photo because this is another one thing that is very um, specific to that, that niche is that the photos uh, are supposed to be uh, authentic and actual piece so this is important and just when we entered the page it was showing that six other customers are looking at that timepiece which is also 
a nice trick that triggers the FOMO and um, this fear uh, of missed opportunity will uh, push us to to click the buy now uh, button and we can see that they do have um, buy now pay later enabled by Klarna and it shows that we can pay as low as 200 bucks per month okay um, we have a buy now button and when we scroll past that button we can see that it's not being fixed and stitched to the top of the um, screen like the main menu does and this top bar with the email call and text but um, it's actually going out of sight um, we finally have an answer what this um, bubble means it's actually certified by watch CSA badge which obviously sort of important I guess and um, we have product details in case of watches it's uh, have its own way of describing this type of products because in many cases uh, there is some uh, used watches uh, being sold and not all items that were included in the initial package are still on hand and available so we can see the manufacturer uh, regular price item number and uh, what is interesting is that they mention regular price down below which is higher than their offered price but they don't uh, basically show uh, it as an advantage showing that oh look we sell this for 7200 while normal price is 7500 and another one thing about prices is that as you can see here it says cash wire price which means that this price is only valid when the customer is paying uh, by wire transfer not by uh, credit card I guess so from that perspective let's click on Klarna and uh, here's the split so you can see that this regular price is 7500 actually and the cash wire price was 7200 and that's how the payments are split okay let's go further and uh, this is uh, condition examination because it's a pre-owned uh, watch and uh, we have some uh, more content on it warranty shipping and returns product reviews uh, and uh, we can also share this on social media and we have suggested uh, other watches not much so it's like four other items and they uh, all are from the similar look and feel I guess but um, that's that's unclear honestly because I'm uh, now on the Grand Seiko and uh, those suggested watches are either Grand Seiko or Omega and Rolex Oyster Perpetual and this Omega one is for ladies so this is um, I'm not sure how how the suggestions are built off so again we have the section from the main page about the newsletter like stay updated and um, they allow us to subscribe here and then also in the footer so like it is very important to get us on the newsletter why is that because of the cost and um, we currently now in sort of attention economy where there is attention providers and um, attention consumers so those online stores to actually sell something they pay either for the ads or to influencers in the form of affiliate systems and stuff like that uh, or they actually own the contact to their customer and then they basically send us emails this way they don't need to uh, pay for this um, attention being capped on them and another way is uh, text messages which is also very popular 
So that's how the product details page looks like. Let's go back and take a look on collection page. So we have uh, a collection page uh, which is actually themed. So this is uh, about Rolex Submariner. So we have a bunch of um, content about the, this model uh, itself and some popular searches like Rolex 16, 610 or something or used Rolex or Rolex uh, another model and uh, we do also have filters so filters are pretty extensive here similar to how it was in a furniture stores and those furniture stores tear downs you can watch also on our channel you can see that we can sort by price uh, metal type dial color and age which means which year this um, watch was produced and uh, what is interesting is that Rolex watches have also nicknames like Kermit, Hulk, Smurf and stuff like that uh, features model number and so on and we have even uh -huh, so it's more model numbers cool so those are filters and um, it's quite um, quite a bit of them so they have 96 Rolex Submariners in total, I guess. Uh, we also have a link to sell the Rolex so we can uh, sell our Submariner. And um, that takes us to a landing page, uh, which basically says that uh, they're credible and uh, shows their most recent transactions of uh, watches they bought or they appraised so I'm not, I'm not sure what this buy column means and it's not clickable so that's hard to understand but uh, it is 493 items uh, in this table so it's quite a lot so I guess this is their most recent appraisals or they actually purchased the watches off by this price. Okay, let's get back and um, see what else is also on the collection page. So we have uh, watches, but uh, each product thumbnail snippet contains two call to action buttons, buy button and sell button, which um, drops us to this get a quote landing page and um, wow this is pretty much a lot of them to scroll from and finally very bottom so we can see additional sections so here's the pagination at at the bottom and um, we can also see that um, notification about cash wire prices are shown so those prices are actually lower than in case we would choose to pay with Klarna or with a credit card and um, some additional on-page SEO tricks that are present on this collection page like um, Rolex Submariner history and some other keywords that are leading us to a content pages or the sections here and uh, at the very low uh, of this we can see a YouTube uh, video YouTube videos are being embedded to the pages to bump the overall time spent on the page. So this way when we'll launch and watch this video, it would bump the time spent on the page and it's obviously seen as a good sign by Google Analytics. And that's how uh, essentially collection page looks like. As you can see, at the very bottom of the collection page, they added a lot and really a lot text information about uh, this specific model. How's that being priced out? What's the history and so on and so forth. So you can learn a lot from their approach to SEO and stuff like that. Let's take a look on some other categories. So let's say if I don't know what watch I want or I'm just shopping around, I'm actually uh, 
not able to see the way that uh, I'm able to I don't know list them by shape case shape for example rectangular watches circle watches or like show me the men's watches ladies watches and stuff like that so this is not um, present here and um, to see that way I'm actually able only to click shop by collections and that way we can see uh, this horizontal additional menu that shows styles like business watches racing military casual sports pilot and under 5000 which suggests that a lot of customers actually looking for watches that uh, priced at the specific below specific bar yeah so uh, this is the under 5000 offering and um, that being sorted by price only and we have multiple different brands uh, shown here looks cool okay so let's take a look what other um, sections and pages this store features we have uh, sell my watch which we already take a look on watch accessories which is a good thing because you always able to sell something with a big margin uh, additionally to an expensive item with a low margin so it's the same as buying an LCD TV in Best Buy for 500 bucks you get offered an HDMI cables with gold plated you know whatever for 80 bucks and somehow the piece of wire is like one fifths of a complex huge thing that is difficult in transportation and storage and everything else so this is how shops can bump the overall margin of their sales and uh, the order value by offering accessories and since you're already buying a watch that is cost like 7k strap for 150 it's a no-brainer and uh, I don't know what the cost of, of this in in the wall sale would be but it is what it is so we have an interesting item here as auctions so this is um, essentially ability to get into the bidding no idea honestly what is that I'm not so deep in the in the niche but um, that was bring my attention so let's take a look how the actual purchase flow looks like um, we are ready to buy this Rolex sky dweller and uh, clicking on the image actually works finally comes out but it didn't click the first time I clicked on it and um, what's interesting is that they have additionally uh, ability to add an independent third-party certificate so my guess is that it will make easier to sell that watch later when I would like to get rid of it I guess and it's uh, an upsell available for both of those uh, watches and um, one sec I want to remove okay remove from cart okay so let's, let's review the cart uh, we have a watch express checkout buttons we have also uh, order summary uh, collapsible and to see it I need to click explicitly show order summary and uh, we can see the split of the costs surcharge 2.9 it's basically the cost of uh, cart transaction subtotal and stuff let's take a look on other pages and uh, as we saw previously in the navigation their other pages are all about stuffing the um, store with SEO juice so the more it is the better it is and we have articles gift guides and um, essentially the gift guide is um, a collection of watches and uh, it's like a lot of them here 
and I expect we'll have the um, content so let's take a look for her and um, this way we can see specific collection of watches and uh, additional content around uh, that collection very smart and uh, those gift guides are um, purely the thing that is being googled and googled a lot let's take a look what other stuff we have so we have rolex financing and uh, this is explaining how uh, buy now pay later could work so they basically offer paypal credit klarna and some um, reasoning why to buy watch using financing they also have uh, affiliate program and um, we can see that um, it's an explanation of how um, someone would earn by selling um, with them and um, they run their affiliate program through pepper jam i guess this is the software that um, is being used to track the affiliate sales and then uh, put the payout uh, to somebody else account and um, there is some more stuff like used rolex prices which is obviously some type of a hot topic in this niche because people continuously buying used or new and um, need to evaluate are they getting a good deal or not what else um, blog blog is um, an obvious thing to to go for and we we see all the blog categories and just to make a remark like this carousel actually suggests that it is more items in it so it invites me to scroll by showing uh, a portion of other block here other thumbnail uh, which does not happen when I'm for example on the collection page and they have this top top bar here so this one is showing just a bit but in the many previous ones it was uh, not showing at all so you you just guess that it is scrollable or not so this is interesting how much users got confused and uh, being lost on that step potentially impact on the conversion rate and stuff would be interesting uh, watch resources what's that um, well this is a lot and it's all structured content it's all basically cross-linking with internal pages and it's giving uh, a good boost on SEO let's take a look some more um, stuff I'm, I'm not really sure what's the difference between articles blog and uh, guides but uh, there is a bunch of how-to articles and uh, let's take a look okay so the breadcrumb on a specific article is actually leading you to a collection for this watch and um, what else we have our locations so here we can see a google map that shows that bob's watches is either in newport beach or not and um, in new york Yeah, it's uh, headquartered in Newport Beach. They have Miami branch as well. And uh, again, the sections are being repeated, those that are present on the main page as well. So this is smart to actually keep showing the product. And uh, you can see that they really um, double down on the sell Rolex, buy Rolex things, put it into the title. So it also most likely being uh, pushed to the Google My Business and uh, some other SEO, but local SEO um, magic is happening here as well. Let's take a look on a trade program. Trade program is basically a landing page to uh, 
sell the Rolex and you can uh, click on it and uh, see why you should sell them and why you should trust them. Let's take a look on their numbers about uh, traffic and uh, how they getting their traffic. So we basically can see that they have 1.1 million visits, bounce rate is 61, and uh, page per visit is like around three, average duration two minutes. They're being around for a while, and um, we can see that majority of their traffic comes from United States, Canada, and UK. And um, besides their competition, we can see that majority of traffic comes from the search, which is not a big surprise, but also they do use display ads and um, not so much social. And email is like 0.5%. Um, as usual, people are Googling the name of a company because they can't remember this or can't spell it properly. So they end up putting like top three um, search requests are actually branded and um, moving forward it's um, all about Rolex as expected and um, what else we can see those are the gallery of their display ads and um, okay so the social network distribution they got traffic from YouTube, like a lot. Pinterest, which is interesting. Reddit, I will explain why Reddit, because uh, in this space, there is a bunch of well-known forums and communities, and uh, watches listed on the site are also listed there. So that's why Reddit. But what's going on with LinkedIn, this is interesting. So they probably somehow figured out how to get good cost per click on LinkedIn. I would be curious to learn more about it. I guess this is it regarding their numbers. And um, I'm happy to get your questions and uh, suggestions what else I should review. This was a Bob's Watches Luxury Vintage Rolex Watches online store review. And um, subscribe for more. See you later. Bye.